In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Welcome to our video version of worship for this, the eighth Sunday after Trinity. And uh, today we are hearing some of the parables that Jesus tells. We've been working through some of the parables recently and we're going to hear some more parables today where Jesus challenging us, challenges us in our thinking about the kingdom, about God's rule on earth. First of all, though, we are going to spend a moment in prayer uh, as we seek God's healing and forgiveness and come before God. Let us pray. We come to God, our loving Father, in sorrow for our sins. When we trust in our own strength and opinions rather than the wisdom of God, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. When we doubt God's love for all humanity without exception, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. When we fail to work to grow God's kingdom in our community, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our prayer for this week. Scandalous God, sowing weeds among the crop, Raising bread with impure yeast, offering treasure beyond price, casting a net that catches good and bad. Throw down our mean idols of purity and possession, and let the Son of Man show us your inclusive, provocative, wide-branching love. Through Jesus Christ. Amen. And now Bethany is going to read to us from Matthew's Gospel. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Jesus put before the crown another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, but when it has grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour until all of it was leavened. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field, which someone found and hid. Then, in his joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. On finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and brought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was thrown into the sea and caught fish of every kind. When it was full, they drew it ashore sat down and put the good into baskets, but threw out the bad. So it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come out and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the furnace of fire, when there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Have you understood all this? They answered, yes. And he said to them, Therefore, every scribble who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like the master of a household who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. Hidden in the walls of our homes and our churches are electricity cables. And electricity uh, enables us to turn darkness into light at the flick of a switch. It enables us to create warmth for, to heat ourselves or to uh, cook our food. It enables us to 
power, tools or devices that give us entertainment or uh, provide services for us. Uh, we know that electricity enables us to do all sorts of things and is a vital uh, resource for us. And nations invest huge amounts of money in uh, in the infrastructure of electricity, in generating electricity in power stations or dams or wind farms uh, and private companies of course also uh, invest money and of course uh, we've been really worried of late because of the uh, dependency upon, uh, upon Russian resources. We've been investing in uh, renewable replacements for fossil fuels. Electricity is a vital thing and I wonder if Jesus, if he were doing parables today, might say the kingdom of heaven is like electricity. Today in the uh, gospel reading Jesus gives us five images of the kingdom of heaven. Whereas first it's worth thinking about what, what a kingdom is. We of course live in the United Kingdom but our United Kingdom, our king doesn't have the same level of power and authority that a king back in the day would have. Um, our king has a certain amount of pomp and ceremony but not the power and authority. Um, a kingdom really is an area over which a king reigns, where that king has authority to do things, where that king's word is, uh, is law. The Jewish people, uh, the Israelites, uh, did have a king, and they had a king of a, their king was supposed to be different. Uh, their king was not supposed to gather to themselves wealth and riches but their king was supposed to rule for the people um, when God finally allowed them to have a king. God didn't particularly want them to have a king, but uh, allowed them to have one. But it was supposed to be different. Um, of course, by Jesus' day, because I mean, obviously, unfortunately, a lot of the kings went wrong um, and didn't behave as they should. By Jesus' day, there is not a king in Israel, but there is the emperor, the Roman emperor, ruled over a huge area of uh, the Mediterranean and beyond. And uh, within Jesus' area, there would have been lower rulers, such as Herod, uh, who would rule under the authority of the emperor. Um, and of course, the Jewish people weren't happy about the fact that they were ruled by foreigners and they longed to have some kind of, or many of them longed to have some kind of uprising that would establish a true Jewish kingdom again. Now as Jesus speaks about the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God, it's not like that kind of kingdom. Um, like the seed or the yeast or electricity, you can't see God's kingdom. It's an integral part of society. You can see its actions. You can see what happens because it's there, but you can't see it. Just as a tiny seed planted in a field can grow into a huge tree, giving shelter just as the yeast can turn flour into bread that gives food. God's, God, God rules where God rules. Love and compassion replace might and oppression. This is the treasure or pearl of great price. The ability to demonstrate God's love is worth risking everything for. Jesus gave his life. Countless Christians down the ages have risked everything to further the kingdom of God. The final image of the kingdom of God is as a fishing net. A fishing net does not know or care what it catches. Tuna, cod, haddock, old plastic bottles, everything is scooped up. So it is with the kingdom of God. 
Wherever the seed is allowed to grow, wherever the yeast provides food for the hungry, people will experience the love of God. The good, the bad, and all sorts of people, the good, the bad and the ugly, are scooped up by the love of God. Whether these people deserve the love of God or to enter the kingdom of God is no concern of ours. Jesus knows that this is radical. He wants us to be sure that the disciples have understood. He wants to be sure that the disciples have understood that the old system of worrying about whether people are righteous or sinners has been swept away. In Jesus' time, sinners were not just criminals or people of dubious morals, but also the disabled, menstruating women, those in occupations deemed to be dirty or unpleasant. But Jesus says, and indeed demonstrates in his life that they too are to be caught up in the net of God's kingdom. Jesus asks the disciples if they have understood all this. Have we understood all this? The kingdom of God may be hidden, but it has the ability to grow if mixed in with society. Where is it hidden in our community? Where is God at work around us? Is the kingdom of heaven producing food and shelter for all comers? As far as we're concerned, there is to be no distinction between deserving and undeserving poor people, or between refugees, asylum seekers, economic migrants and potential terrorists. All should be caught up in the net of God's love. All are prepared to do. Are, are we prepared to do what it takes to keep the lights on and to grow the kingdom of heaven in the world? And now Dovrig is going to lead us in our prayers. Let us pray. God the Creator, of all that is seen and unseen. Listen to the cry of all those whose habitats and homes are in danger as the climate changes. Give wisdom and courage to decision makers and deepen our care for the earth you have created. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. God, who became incarnate to save us, open us to the depths of your compassion and the breadth of your love, and lead us to your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. God, the life-giving Spirit, be present to all those who are in despair. Bring comfort to the lonely, courage to the disheartened, and healing to those in pain. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. God, who calls us to be your people, forgives our sins and leads us to the life of the world to come. Listen to our prayer for ourselves, for those close enough, for those close to us, and for those people we remember now. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, 
now and forever. Amen. And so now we're coming towards the end of our video service for today. And uh, today David Hillary is going to finish by singing God is Love. Uh, but before we do, a prayer of blessing. And just a quick reminder as well, um, you'll be used to these reminders by now, but we do have our um, crowdfunder happening at the moment. So we're halfway through now and we really need your support if you've not already supported us. If you've already given, great, um, but you can also share it with others. So do share it with others so that they might give as well. If you've not given yet, you can do both. You can give and you can share with others. Um, that would be great. A prayer of blessing. May you know the love of God the Father whose kingdom has no end. May you know the love of God the Son who understands our suffering and paid the ultimate price. May you know the, God of lo the love of God the Holy Spirit who strengthens us to do God's will on earth. And the blessing of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. God is love, is the curtaining each everywhere. God is love, all is there. Jesus came to show him that we all might know him. Sing a loud, 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 sing a loud, loud, loud. God is God, God is truth, God is beauty, praise him. None can see God above, we can share life and love, as may we God will love, seek Him in creation, obeying every nation. Sing a loud, 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 sing a loud, 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 God is God, God is truth, God is beauty, praise Him. Jesus lived on the earth, all by life for to birth, and a from children birth, for he came to save us, by the truth he gave us. Sing a loud, 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 sing a loud, 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 God is good, God is truth, God is beauty, praise him. We sing, light and life, friend and king, coming down, love to bring, pardon for our duty, showing God beauty. Sing a loud, 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 sing a loud, 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 God is good, God is truth, God is beauty, praise Him.